Hello everybody, this is Daniel and welcome back to another episode of All Things China. Today we're going to do a comparison video between three Super Nintendo mobile console from China. They are all under 25 US dollars. Let's take a look which are the best and which can provide the best value for your hard earned money. Stay tuned! On the top left, we have the FC Pocket. Included in the package is a mini USB power adapter, an extra game cartridge which consists of 128 games, uh, AV analog output cable, as well as a protective cover. On the top right, we have what we call the RS8A Cool Baby. Included in the package is a analog AV output cable as well, and also a mini USB charging cable. Bottom right, we have what we call a data frog. Included in the package is uh, an adapter power with a round pin, as well as also a analog AV cable output. Now I must say all three of them are pretty relatively well built. They are all made of very good plastic material. On the bottom left, the RS8A is the most compact among three. Having said that, it also has the smaller screen of just 2.5 inch. On the top data flock, this looks like a mini PlayStation Portable and it has the largest screen size of 3 inch. On the top left, it's one. It's my favorite. This is very, very retro with a balloon red and gold plated front cover. It looks like a Super Nintendo classic controller. Uh, it has a screen size of 2.6 inch, which is in between the RS8A Cool Baby as well as the Data Frog. So first of all, although the screen size are different, they are equally bright and visible even under sunlight. Now, all three has an analog AV output with mono sound. All three has volume control, rechargeable batteries, as well as all three do not have audio output for the earpiece. And the one important element about console is the buttons. Let's talk about what's included in the buttons itself. Top two, we have start and select the cool baby. For whatever reason, the manufacturer decided not to include the select buttons. because without select buttons, some of the games do not play well. Next, let's talk about layout. Now, the FC Pocket, it's totally a replica of the actual Super Nintendo buttons layout, which is which played excellent. Data Frog, almost the same, just that it actually twisted the A and B buttons this way, anti-clockwise. Now, for the RS8A, they do not have the Turbo A and Turbo B. But the biggest problem of all, they actually swap the A and B position, right? A is supposed to be the top, they swap it below. So some of the games can get pretty confusing. Next, we talk about the feel of the buttons. Now, this is very clicky, I love this. Data for buttons are pretty clicky as well. RS8A buttons, it's squeezy, especially the directional buttons. Really feel horrible. Just to take note that the FC Pocket has two extra features that the other two game consoles do not have. Number one, it actually allows game cartridges, which means you can load more games off game cartridges. Number two, it can have two player battle game mode. You can plug in another game controller via the mini USB port and effectively you can play two player games. So it's conclusion time. Now as you can tell, hardware wise, the FC Pocket definitely wins over the other two. It has much buttons layout, better features, and the buttons just feel much better, much more clickier. Now, when we talk about game console, we definitely want to talk about games. It's all about games. In terms of games wise, the FC Pocket also wins over the other two. It has the most number of games. It has a whopping 600 games. Although it costs 25 US dollars, slightly more than the other two, this is definitely a winner. Now, however, if you just want to spend 15 US dollar, these two are cost 15 dollars each. If you want to pick between the two, definitely go for the data from Why? Although it only has 168 games in comparison to the RS88 Cool Baby of 260 games, it is really a gimmick because this consists of all the classic. Super Mario 3, Contra 2, Double Dragon, you name it, it's in it. Although this has more games, it's really a gimmick. It does not include the classic gems, 
So if you have $15 only, go for Data Frog. If you want to spend a bit more, $25 definitely go for the FC Core Cat.